It's that we're back for the fabulous five best rookie performances of the week. I'm going to share the top five rookie performances. Before we even get started, this is the best week we've seen from rookies in the NFL in maybe three years. So good that these three guys didn't make the list. Jalen Carter was absolutely dominant, did not make the list. What? Christian Gonzalez Great was game. unbelievable. And amazing. Did not make the list. Tank Dell, Andrew Beck's teammate. Fantastic. Did not make the list. Why? Because there were five better performances. You got a problem with it? Bring it to Twitter and we'll answer the questions. Number five. Show me. We go to the Motor City. Did you see the numbers that Brian Branch had at defensive back for the Detroit Lions? Absolutely incredible. 11 tackles. <laughs> Three tackles for a loss and two pass deflections. One yeah. of them right there from Drake London swiping it away. He is the first defensive back, not rookie defense back, first defensive back since 1994, the NFL's 75th season, to have 10 or more tackles and three tackles for a loss and two pass deflections in one game. Wow. History. Brian Branch, the rookie out of Alabama, second round pick. This season, he's already got 18 tackles, three tackles for a loss, an interception, a pick six. He's doing it all for them. You're going to see him tomorrow night in Lambeau. Brian Branch makes the list at number five, a historic day for him. Number four, Chargers got a win, and their best defensive player was a rookie named Tuli Tuopopolo Lotu. Again, Tui Tuipa Lotu. Let's get to it again. Tui, if I butchered your name, I apologize. I've been trying in the mirror for the last three days, I was and I still think I butchered it. I'll just go with Tui for now. Uh, good plays, right? How about four tackles, a sack, and four quarterback hits? He's all over the field. And I'll tell you this, this celebration, I'm wondering what it is. Tui explained it. Back here on Good Morning Football. Take a listen. Nice. Every time I get a sack, you see me throw up the tees. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, and that's what it means. Like, I thought lot... it was for Tuli, you know? Nah, a lot of people you think that. You did it when we introduced you. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people think it's because it's for uh, my first name or last name or even Trojan. Uh -huh. But it's really for Tongan just because, like, uh, my parents are from Tonga. So we just, oh, okay. I just want, I might for the culture. Tongan, and this is for his family and his heritage. I love it. He's been the most dominant defensive player on a Chargers team that has stars, Derwin James and Bosa and Mack. And yet, every time I'm watching, it's Tui. Daniel Jeremiah does the radio for the Chargers. He put a tweet out saying, how the heck was Tui not a first round pick? Wow. That's how good he's been. Tui, keep an eye on him. He's out there doing it for LA. Number three, we going back to Detroit. Oh my God. Back to Detroit. Jamie's got him on her Ooh. fantasy team. Sam Laporta, hey. step right up. Another Iowa tight end. If Dwight Clark wasn't enough, if George Kittle wasn't enough, if Hawkinson wasn't enough, here we go. Dallas Clark. Dallas Clark. I yeah. said Dwight Clark. I Sorry. apologize. I got you, bud. It was our guy Sam Laporta having a historic day. Eight catches, 84 yards, a touchdown. It's the most receptions ever if you combine his first three weeks by a tight end to start their career. Yeah. Most receptions ever by a tight end. And I'll tell you what's great. Um, Jared Goff had a feeling. Laporta came through in training camp. Jared Goff was asked after Laporta's big breakout day when he knew if Laporta was a special player. Take a listen from his quarterback. The first day he was at OTAs, probably. Um, he's a stud. He's a stud and uh, has great feel for the game, has uh, great hands, obviously, has good speed, um, blocks well when we ask him to block, but you know, there's still some little rookie things that happen here or there. Um, that you know, the, the sky's the limit for him, and it, it's going to be fun to hopefully play with him for a long time. Sky is the limit, and you take a look at the numbers, historic here. Through three games, he's got 18 catches. It's the most ever for a tight end to start their career. He also leads all tight ends in the NFL, including Kelsey, including Pitts, including whoever else, in receiving yards right now with 186. Sam Laporta, right out of the gate, has been a star for Detroit. Mm. And then you get a guy who just showed up on our screens after we were waiting to see if he's going to get on the field and ran for 200 yards. Oh, uh, baby. Dolphins rookie running back. Guys, help me with this now. What is it? Devon yeah. A-Chan. A-Chan. He changed it this week. He did. This morning. <laughs> Devon A-Chan. Shout out to Dolphins PR guru Ann Nolan, who chimed in with Jason during the break saying it's A-Chan now. De Devon A-Chan. Devin or Devon? Devon. Devon, Devon, Devon A-Chan. I'm getting to know you still, and we're trying to figure out how to say the name. We want to do it right. Peter, you know what's an easy name to say? Jalen Carter. You want to put him in there? <laughs> Just put him in, Peter. Jalen Carter. Hey, <laughs> this guy right <laughs> here had a day. Um, 18 rushes. Yeah. 203 yards. Okay. Two touchdowns. Ooh. 30 receiving yards. Two receiving touchdowns. Ooh. Four touchdowns. Ooh. 
and over 233 yards in a game. Now look, you're talking about fewest career games to have a four touchdown performance. I gotta shout out my boy Pat Smith, 1920, played for the Buffalo All-Americans. And then his teammate, Aki Anderson, did the same thing. Those guys were awesome. They did it, you know, in three and four games. It only took this guy two. Jonas okay? Gray at the bottom. Jonas Gray, we know, Notre Dame and Patriots Hell legend. Yeah. Um, but here's the Buffalo All-Americans, <laughs> all right? Ooh, they have guys. their names on their faces. And now look, we gotta shout out Aki, okay? What's up, Aki? And of course, our other boys here. But this is my team. Some people are like, I love the 78 Steelers. I go way back. No, no. I'm a fan of the 1920 Buffalo All-Americans. Shout out to you boys. I think the second that picture goes up, we get the Brian Setzer, whatever the hell this is. Pat Smith and Aki <laughs> Anderson. Right away, we go to the brass. Yeah. Um, number one spot in the Fabulous Five, though, has been the best rookie quarterback by a landslide in the NFL, and it's time to get some love. Oh. Out with the All-Americans and in with C.J. Stroud. C.J. Stroud had an unbelievable performance on Sunday. Goes into Jacksonville, they're big underdogs, they haven't won yet, and just absolutely lights Looks up great. that Jaguars defense. Stroud looks like he's light years ahead of the other rookie quarterbacks right now. He's in full command. The S2 cognition test has not been mentioned until this moment on the show this season because he's lights out. He's been on fire. Um, the numbers themselves are incredible. 20 for 30, 280 yards, two touchdowns, but no picks. And remember that week three offensive line, Tunzel was out, Titus Howard was out, yeah. Kevin Green, Julius Scruggs, all those guys. Quisenberry all didn't play. His 906 passing yards without an interception to start a career, it's the most since 1970. Keenum oh, did well. Rodgers did well. Warren Moon, Hall of Famer, did well. But with 121 pass attempts, Stroud has not thrown an interception yet. Wow. That's a Guys, there you have cool. it. It's Traeger's really cool. Fabulous Five. We love the rookie performances. We had eight that are worthy. We only could do five. We shout out Tank Dell. We love Christian Gonzalez. We love Jalen Carter. You didn't make the list. You got to be better. You got to have four touchdowns in a game. Mm -hmm. You got to break records. Or you got to be the man doing this right now for the Chargers. There's your Fab Five. Guys, what do you think? Peter, something I've never done before. In the middle of the segment, I'm in a father-son fantasy league. I went to go add Sam Laporta. He was taken. Oh. He's gone. Country Road Take Mahomes already has Sam yeah, Laporta. Sam. I'm so pissed. I wanted him. Want I need it. Goff loves him. I love it. I have Sam Damn. Laporta on my fantasy team. Do you? Good for you. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And I see, I'm telling you, somebody got benched for Sam Laporta last week, and I was on the winning side of it because of it.